So let's go ahead and turn our image into a hyperlink. Now it's fairly straightforward provided we remember what we learned in our video on hyperlinks when we were going through anchor tags and the attributes. We saw for the first time an attribute in a particular tag in HTML. So we need to do the exactly same thing over here. It's just that we need to include the entire image tag within the anchor tag. So for that, all we need to do is just enclose the image tag within two anchor tags, first of all. Now, just enclosing them again will not make them clickable, will not turn them into hyperlinks. However, I hope you do remember, we have to add an attribute, which is href. And the value of this attribute should be exactly the link where you want the visitor to be redirected to when they click on your image. Now, most of the times people do have the exact URL of the image as the link, which you can put over here. And then the person will, when they click on this, they will be redirected to the image directly. The image will be opened in the browser. But if you want, you can give any other link. I'll give a link to google.com. Okay, so now if I click on this particular image, this will redirect me to google.com. Let's try it. Okay, now I'm not connected to internet. That's fairly obvious and that's why I am not able to go to the page, but that's how it goes. So there you go. Now you have basic idea that you can put up a static web page. I'll tell you what it what static means. In fact, you will get to know it in a later course. Static basically means something that doesn't change automatically. Static is what is what you have put there is it always remains same. The opposite of static is dynamic, which is the content of the web page changes dynamically, automatically depending on user activity and so on but hey we will go through it later on let's not get into too much complexity right now you now have the basic idea to actually set up a simple normal web page you know how to create links you know how to create paragraphs you know how where do paragraphs and links go you know how to put images and you even know how to make images clickable how to turn images into hyperlink so try and set up a basic profile page of yours maybe and do let me know in comments if you get stuck anywhere. I will try and assist you in the best possible manner I can. And apart from that, I will also put, I will also save this code somewhere and put a link to this in the description of this particular video. So that if you want to access this particular code, which is fairly straightforward, you would have already done it, but hey, you can still access it. It's not away from you. So thank you guys. Thanks for this. Bye.